And now our continuing series on the 100 greatest singers of all time. And at number 92, Morrissey. In the Rolling Stone magazine, Bono wrote, When I first heard Morrissey singing the Smith's acid-tongued girlfriend in a coma, I nearly crashed my car and ended up in a coma myself. He has that gift. An icon of New Wave from his days in the Smiths and in his solo career, Morrissey owns a voice that's mannered, ironic, even consciously feminine. His phrasing owes more to tuxedoed crooners than any other rock singer before him. But his rejection of convention is also why he redefined the sound of British rock for the past quarter century. With his falsetto cries, rolled R's, and warbling yodels, he pulled off lyrics few other singers could possibly have gotten away with, and he opened up possibilities for rockers who followed him, from Oasis to Interpol. Our song for today is How Soon Is Now by The Smiths. Written by Morrissey and guitarist Johnny Moore, it was originally a B-side of their 84 single, William, It Was Really Nothing. In Simon Goddard's The Smiths, Songs That Saved Your Life, in 2004, Smith guitarist Johnny Marr said, I wrote How Soon Is Now along with William, It Was Really Nothing, and Please, Please Let Me Get What I Want during a four-day period at Earl's Court in 1984. He said the demo was originally called Swamp. He said in contrast to the frequent chord changes that he'd employed in most Smith songs, he wanted to explore building the song around a single chord as much as possible. After they worked it all out, Marr, Andy Rourke, and Mike Joyce went to London's Jam Studios. They recall the session as being accompanied by heavy marijuana use. Porter said, we used to smoke dope from when we got out of bed to when we got back into bed. Marr concurred. He said, you're from Manchester. You smoke weed till it comes out of your ears. Joyce said the band even replaced the studio's light bulbs with red ones for ambiance. With the music done, Porter then sent Morrissey a rough mix of the song in the mail. The following morning, Morrissey arrived and laid down his vocals. He pulled the lyrics from various works in progress. Porter said the singer completed his vocals in two takes. It's our continuing series on the 100 greatest singers of all time. And with the Smiths. At number 92, Morrissey. <laughs> Thank you. 